Hello friends, welcome to this year's fall decorate with me video for 2023. The Florida summer heat down here has been intense this year and we're definitely excited for some cooler temperatures ahead. Fall has always been my favorite season to decorate for and Christmas is my favorite holiday to decorate for as well. So I'm definitely getting excited about all the home decor and decorating that's gonna be coming in the next few months. Who is with me? Give this video a thumbs up if you're getting excited to decorate for the upcoming seasons and holidays. We are going to start off this fall decorate with me with a fall DIY. Actually, it's not a fall DIY. It is just an any time of year DIY taking one of these little stovetop covers from Dollar Tree. So they come in a pack of two and I spray painted it over with some white spray paint and then I wanted to give it a little bit of a marble look. So I've just got a little bit of this silvery gray. I think it was called zinc if I remember the color right. Um, art paint by deco art and I just lightly kind of brushed and just brushed it on here in little different um, kind of S's and sh S shapes and lines and even like some U shapes and just very lightly marbled the top of the surface and then I also brought some of the lines down over the side so it would just give it a little more uniform look to kind of give it a marble finish and then for the bottom of our tray I'm taking one of these wooden pencil holders which is also from Dollar Tree I just hot glued them together if you want to you could try using a more um, you know like half hot glue and half something else like more permanent um, but so far mine is working out pretty well and I'm gonna use that as a center riser on my table and let's go ahead and put our tablescape together So I just found this beautiful pumpkin in Home Goods, and I was very impressed at the price at $16.99. And I did add batteries, but look at this, it's got like fairy lights inside it. I also found some of these really beautiful, kind of realistic looking pumpkins. These were $12.99 in Home Goods as well. Along with these other little white pumpkins that I picked up in Michael's. I also ordered some of this berry garland. I think it's supposed to be bittersweet berries and I wanted a garland that I could kind of wrap around the pumpkins and this one is actually from Home Depot so I will see what I can link below for you if you want to recreate any of these looks that I share in today's video or if you just want to find some of the pieces to maybe use in your own home decor, your own fall decor for this year or whatever year it is when you're actually watching this video but I ended up using two garlands and wove them back and forth I love that you can really bend the wire the stem on here so you can wrap it around a pumpkin or just kind of weave it in and out around your stand around your tear tray your pumpkins Now let's go ahead and decorate up on our floating shelves here. These are really fun to decorate for the seasons and for me I love that they give me a great place to kind of keep some of my plant cuttings that I am propagating in water over here. Now I took the stuff off and just wiped them off really quick. So quick dust here before we redecorate on here and then I want to just rearrange a few of the items. So obviously I wanted to keep my greenery and the plants that I am propagating but I did get a few new these pink and orange glass vases from Timu. So they're vases but um, I think they could actually both be used as a candle holder so that's kind of neat. So I found this hanging greenery bush in Dollar Tree. I thought it was kind of pretty for fall. So I stacked up these little pumpkins from Dollar Tree. They're just little ceramic ones. And this one I did, actually it's a votive or tea light holder, but I did it upside down so that I could actually stick some greenery in here. And we'll just kind of bend some of this and let it kind of cascade and hang down here beautifully. I felt like all in all these were pretty nice for being just Dollar Tree pieces. Candles are also really cozy this time of year. 
So we're gonna add some of our little battery votives up there as well. Moving on, let's go out to the entryway and start in our little foyer area over here by the front door. Now, I am not going to show you guys, but I did end up mopping um, most of the tile in the house. I just wanted to really get everything clean, so I mopped all the tile and then um, let that dry and then put this rug back down, which normally I just vacuum the rug, but I decided to actually take it outside and shake it out really well, and I felt like I got more like sand or something out of it than what I think the vacuum normally picks up. Maybe because the rug is kind of thick and textured, but I really feel like shaking it outside really thoroughly did a, a really good job at just cleaning it out. So. Now starting with everything being clean here, I just wiped down the shelves and we're gonna go ahead and switch this over from summer decor and just transition into something for fall over here. And I got this tear tray. It was 66% off at Hobby Lobby, which I thought was just an amazing deal and probably the best price I would ever find for a tiered tray. I got these in Target. It was $3 for the little baggie of them. And I was thinking if you wanted to, you could almost do like an apple wreath and, you know, glue them and add them into a wreath. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better. But yeah, they're kind of like a icy frosted apple. But I was thinking you could glue these into a wreath and that these would be really pretty that way. Um, here are the other Dollar Tree pumpkins. But these were just very cute, like I was showing you, just so you could see them a little bit better detail here. I'm gonna add them into our tray. And Dollar Tree also has these berry garlands. So they have them in a couple different colors. They did have some with white berries if you were going for a more neutral look. But I thought these were pretty cute. I've used them before in projects and crafts. So if I, I knew if I didn't end up using them here today, um, I'll end up using them at some point in my decor or in a craft or some kind of project. Now this little bottle is left over some, from some vanilla extract and I'm just adding in some little extra pieces of Dollar Tree florals that I had left over and we're gonna just add this up into our tiered tray as well. So I also have this little grapevine pumpkin pick from Home Goods, as well as a little pick from of eucalyptus from not home goods, I'm sorry, Hobby Lobby. And I'm thinking of trying to add in here. So I always think it can be fun to have different picks, like floral picks to decorate with. Um, but another fun idea is if you have some ornaments, like Christmas ornaments, that fit with the colors that are in your fall decor, you can just use an ornament in the back. I want to add a little bit of filler and a little bit of color. I still want to make sure that my pumpkins and my apple are like the primary thing that you're looking at. And if you don't quite have enough room, like with this pumpkin over here, if you don't quite have enough room, you could always set it diagonal, like on a little bit of an angle. I shut the blind behind it, so hopefully you can get a little clearer picture of how, how it looks. This is such a tricky spot because it's really bright from the door and then from this window. So trying to take pictures of anything here is always a little bit difficult because it's so backlit. But I wanted you guys to get a little bit of like a close up 
of how this is all looking. Our little vanilla extract jar. You could actually just pick some florals outside and add some real flowers or grasses or something in there. And then this happy pumpkin spice season from Dollar Tree. This little cup was very cute. Filling in with some kind of eucalyptus or floral or even an ornament like I mentioned down here. Anyway, it looks very Thanksgiving-ish to me. <laughs> but a tiered tray is always fun to decorate for sure. Now I do have this other small, smaller wooden tiered tray that I got in Michaels last year. And this one does fit because it's just two tiers. So I have this one over in the little area by the refrigerator, which we have made kind of into a little coffee bar area. And we're just gonna take out some of these flowers that I had for spring and summertime. And we're gonna transition this area into a nice fall coffee bar space as well. I'm not doing anything too elaborate, just honestly keeping it pretty clean, crisp, simple, and just you know, the main few things that we need and use on a regular basis. I know in the past I've done like all out fancy coffee bars. To be honest, in this house now, I just don't have the room to do that. So we're gonna keep the space a bit smaller. And realistically speaking, a lot of the those extra accessories didn't get used all the time on a regular basis. So for now, I'm going to go more minimalist and just try to keep the counters neat, clean, tidy. Um, my mother-in-law is also sharing the space with us. And so I'm, I always try to be a little bit more aware of, you know, making the space work for everybody and me not over decorating a space to where it makes it maybe more more difficult for other people to you know use their things in the space and she uses this coffee maker more than I do I have an instant Jamaican coffee that is amazing and it is my absolute favorite so I usually use it stovetop and then use that little frother machine and I don't really use the Keurig so Mike and his mom are the ones that really use the Keurig so this space is honestly more for them than and for me. Moving on into the living room, I am putting on some pillow covers here. I got these in Timu and they were very affordable. To be honest, they're a bit more summery looking than I was originally picturing, but I think they're a perfect transition piece to switch from summer decor into fall decor. And they have oranges that is gonna fit pretty nicely with all the rest of my fall decor this year as well, just with the oranges and gold color tones. I do like to wipe um, all of our furniture or chairs down, especially with the sticky lint rollers. I'll use that to pick up any dust or dog hairs that gets on the sofa or the chairs and just get that all cleaned up. And then I also have this other little, it's kind of like a little battery operated um, fabric shaver. I can't remember what you'd actually call this tool, but it will basically shave off any of the little fabric pills that you might get on clothing or even on a couch in this case. So this couch is from Ikea and it tends to get a lot of those little pills on the material just from like the dog's nails or from people getting on and off like clothing rubbing on the on the couch fabric so this does a really good job at taking off all of that little fibrous threads and stuff like that i'm also going to wipe off any of my pillows with the lint roller and just get off any dust that's on there this one i've actually had in storage since last fall i kind of saved this big home sweet home pillow for the fall time i think it's originally from tj maxx so i wanted to share a little shopping haul with you guys from um, Home Goods and Joanne Fabrics. I picked up a few things. This pumpkin in Joanne Fabrics, it was originally $34.99, which I feel like is kind of a little pricey, but everything was half off. 
Now, this one I also got in Home Goods. It was $16.99 and it's almost like a pillow, other than the fact that you do have like this hard stem on here. But otherwise, like it's squishy, it's very soft, it's squishy, you know, it's firm but like plush. So I, I feel like if you wanted to add a pumpkin on your bed, this would make like a nice decoration. Um, you could definitely use it on the couch or, or anywhere as decor, obviously. But I was almost thinking it would be cute on the bed because it's like squishy like a pillow, but you know, it's got like a nice pumpkin shape here. Um, I grabbed a candle that smelled amazing and it's um, by Sand and Fog. It's a white pumpkin. It's got four wicks in here. Um, but I really liked the color and the, the style, the shape here, and I thought it would be maybe a really pretty thing to either put on our bookshelf, bookcase, or even on the coffee table. I found this beautiful um, butterfly coffee mug and just decided to add it to the collection. Um, I guess these are monarch, they look like monarch butterflies. So you guys know that I've added lots of milkweed trying to help the monarch butterfly population out. This was $4.99 in Home Goods and it is a microwave dishwasher safe mug. And at first I was thinking, am I gonna really need a mug this tall? But the convenient thing is for the little handheld frother, if you like to froth your coffee at all, it definitely can make it splash and spill out of a regular style coffee mug. So I think this would make it much easier to have a taller mug like this. I found some of these olives, which I love the green olives. Um, I've gotten some Italian ones in Walmart that are really, really good. They have a milder flavor than the Spanish one that has the pimentos in it. And then I also found some crackers here, the Humble Seed Garlic Herb Crackers. So I just liked these because, you know, they're like a nice gluten-free cracker. Sunflower, chia, pumpkin, flax, sesame, and hemp. We also grabbed some chocolate covered nuts. The cashews we've clearly been enjoying. There's just a few left. Um, I think everyone's been picking on them the last few days, but especially me, I've probably eaten more than my fair share. Um, and then dark chocolate covered almonds. And I liked that these say that they contain like almonds and soy because they have soy less than, but I was looking for one that didn't contain milk and there's nothing on here that says it has milk. I know some dark chocolate still has milk in it, so I tend to just like read the ingredients and see. Now, a couple other little things. I picked this wheat up, which I just folded the stem over here and I was only able to find one of them. Um, I think she gave this to me for like $3.50 in Joanne Fabrics. Um, and then this is actually from Target. It was in the Target dollar spot for $3 and I think it's so cute. And I was thinking of just putting the wheat in here like this and adding this either on the floating shelves or maybe um, in the living room, like over on a bookshelf. Oh, it would also be really pretty on our case, our bookcase, not bookcase, what would we call it? Our shelf unit that I have in the bathroom over the toilet. I could just decorate and maybe add a little pumpkin and decorate for fall in there. One more thing from Home Goods here. I got these towels. I thought they were just so pretty and I was really looking for one that didn't have any words or like any little saying on it and I wanted it not to have any words or saying, but also to have kind of like a uniform pattern across the whole thing. So it wasn't like there's one little picture here and then the rest of the towel is just a solid color. I wanted something that had like a, you know, a design across the whole thing. So I really liked this one. It's very neutral. Um, I feel like it'll go with future decor, um, you know, not just this year, but I could probably, you know, use them again next year. So now let me show you what we cleaned off the couch with this little gadget. I'll see if I can link it down below. It works amazing to clean off your furniture. Can you guys see all that? Like it's disgusting, but I just went over the couch quickly and I do this like every few or every couple of months, I would say every month or two, just kind of go over the couch and it picks up any of the little like lint or um, if the material kind of pills, like it'll shave all that off. 
So I have a vegan pumpkin bread recipe that I'm excited to try. This recipe says that it's better than Starbucks pumpkin bread, and I'm excited to see if maybe this will become one of our new fall favorite recipes. So let's go ahead and make this. I ended up having to make a couple alterations, and I'll just let you know what those were. But the main ingredients that you're gonna need are one tablespoon of ground flaxseed, two and a half tablespoons of water. You can bind those together and set them aside and that will make your flax egg. We also need a 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. The recipe calls for one and one fourth cup of brown sugar. However, I actually only had three quarters of a cup left in the house, so that's what I'm using. Basically, I used a half a cup less of sugar than what the recipe calls for. Now, it calls for a half cup of canola oil, which since I had less sugar, I actually decided to reduce the, sh the, um, the vegetable oil down to one third instead of one half cup, also one fourth cup of soy milk. Once that's all combined, we're gonna add in the dry ingredients, one and three fourths cup of all purpose flour. I decided to actually use a gluten free one. And before I mixed it all in, I added the one teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon baking powder, a quarter to a half teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons ground cinnamon, quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg, quarter teaspoon ground cloves, and just kind of mix those dry ingredients a little bit and then stirred the whole thing in. You don't want to over mix it. Now to bake it, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I gave a quick non-stick spray to my loaf pan and then I put parchment paper in the bottom. And then you're gonna sprinkle some pepitas, pumpkin seeds on top, bake this. The recipe called for one hour and 15 minutes. So I actually did, I think one hour and five minutes, one hour and 10 minutes and mine was perfectly finished so I, it's always better to set it for just a little less time in my opinion and then you can always pop it back in the oven for an extra five or ten minutes if you need it but I always feel like that's a little better than having it be overdone. Go ahead and let that cool and then you can enjoy. Hello friends we are back ready to cut this up I finished baking it. It took about an hour and five minutes. Um, I did spray a little non-stick spray in the pan and then I put the parchment paper on top of that. So let's just go ahead and cut a little piece here. I'm excited to see how it came out. So I did use less sugar. So I don't know if that's gonna actually like change the texture or the consistency at all. Normally I like to substitute applesauce instead of oil. However, there was a note on this recipe that said that the texture would not come out right. If you substitute it, we're gonna just try this. I'm gonna cut a slice for Mike to try as well. Mm -hmm. I feel like I wanna really take in all the flavors. The texture is really nice. It's a good amount of sweetness. It's actually, I feel like it would be almost perfect for like a, more of like a breakfast loaf than like a dessert loaf. It's not incredibly sweet by any means. I feel like if you wanted it more for dessert, probably doing the full amount of sugar <laughs> would, you know, give you more of that dessert pumpkin loaf. Um, this is just a very light sweetness, maybe similar to like, um, like a banana bread recipe, one that doesn't have a lot of sugar added, just kind of like a basic banana bread. I feel like if you have like a low sugar banana bread recipe that kind of uses the bananas for sweetness, that's kind of the amount of sweetness that I would describe this as. All in all, it's a really good recipe. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this fall home decor, fall decorate with me video for 2023. Let me know down below, when are you gonna be decorating for fall this year? And what colors are you hoping to use in your decor? I always love hearing from you guys. As always, wishing you a beautiful and blessed day. I will see you soon in a new video. Bye!